Hey everybody, it's Trisha Morris here at Club Scrap, and we have a beautiful chandelier stencil coming out in the uh, junior kit of our Bon Appetit collection. And I wanted to show you how to create this layered card look with the stencil and a couple of stamps. What I'm using as the base of my stenciled image is actually a portion of a stepping out white print. This paper is incredibly heavy duty and absorbs the ink really well, so I just wanted to point out that's what I'm using. And if I take the stencil then and layer it over my base, white base paper, and I'm starting with Club Scrap's Fuchsia ink and our handy ink applicator. This one's very well loved. I love these applicators because they keep, well, for the most part, keep my fingers out of the ink. I'm not so good at always keeping my fingertips out of ink, but at any rate, um, I'm picking up the Fuchsia ink off of the pad and then transferring it over the stencil openings. And what you'll find is that um, you do need to have the, the foam on the applicator quite saturated in order to get the quick and smooth results that you're seeing me get right, achieve right now with this particular transfer of ink. I'm going to just work on that until the entire image has been transferred. Now what I did to create more of a collaged effect on my stencil, because I was sort of having fun, um, is, is applied some additional background chandeliers and you can notice a completely different technique that I'm using for my ink application. Um, very, very light pressure. And so what it creates is a completely different look, definitely in the background there. And you can just add those around. And this is just creating a different sort of a layered look. You don't have to do this, of course, because I think it was beautiful just as it was. But, you know, wow, that really starts adding a lot. Okay, stop, Trisha. <laughs> then the next layer, I always love to add text. And from the Wildflowers collection here at Club Scrap, this uh, was released in June of 2012, on the Club Scrap unmounted sheet, there was an image of just simply script text, sort of, you know, small and illegible. But to me, it adds a really nice touch of what I would call a noise. And whenever I stamp text, I avoid stamping it straight because inevitably it's not quite straight. And if I just stamp at an angle, then I'm not fighting with nature. <laughs> okay, so here I have my text noise. That's layer number two. And then I will add from the club scrap unmounted stamps from Bon Appetit, the expression Bon Appetit onto the piece. And you could add that several times if you wanted to almost like a accent, totally up to you. Finally, for another layer, also from the Bon Appetit uh, Club Scrap unmounted stamp sheet is this large swirl. I'm inking it with Club Scrap's Earth ink, and if I just go in for another nice layer here, it's really adding a nice warmth to this image. Now, speaking of warmth, there's definitely something different about this piece than my finished piece. Do you see the glow around the outer perimeter? There are two ways to achieve that. I'm taking that same ink applicator and I'm going to drag the ink from my base paper, which I have this desk blotter, over the paper. This is a very specific way of doing it that creates this soft glow. And it's much softer than using other techniques. Notice I'm kind of lifting upward as well, preventing uh, some stray marks and unwanted marks to land on my paper. Totally soften the look, but I want another layer of warmth. I can do it a different way by taking the earth ink pad and working directly from the pad onto the paper to add another edge to this, a paperless border, if you will. Then to kind of give this a menu sort of a feel, I took a ruler and I marked from the edge about a half an inch from the left edge and an inch up from the top and bottom. I took a crop dial and punched some holes and I added some eyelets. And then I was able to tie a ribbon around the front of the panel of the card. And I think it just kind of had sort of a, a menuish feel and um, really kind of finishes off the card in a beautiful way. Layered it with some black paper, then onto some wine cardstock and voila, bon appetit.